Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys on how to win in control, give you guys a complete Apex Legends guide on the new control mode that is going to be kicking off on February the 8th. But before I get started, I want to ask you guys for a big favor to please like, subscribe and turn on all notifications. So. The new mode is going to be taking place on February the 8th and this control mode is practically 9 versus 9 and whoever controls the battlefield is the one that's going to win. So the big question here is how do you control the battlefield? Well, there's a couple of ways you could do this. Now, before I even let you guys know, before I even give you guys, start giving you guys tips, have this in mind. You're going to live, you're going to die, you're going to rinse, and you're going to repeat. This is what control is in Apex Legends, the new mode. Death doesn't mean anything in control. It's totally the opposite way. Kills, yes, are going to help you. But if you work as a team, it's, you're probably going to become out victorious in this mode. So how do you do this? So... In control mode, you're going to die and you're also going to come back very quickly. Now, it depends how you control the map, how fast and where are you going to be spawning to. Now, control is all about experimentation and letting you play with all the tools in Apex and will allow you to always try to win. Now, while choosing your spawn, it's a very crucial point because it all depends where you're going to be spawning. It's going to allow you or give your team a bigger chance to be able to control the map. Have this in mind. The battlefield shifts quickly and you need to be able to adapt. Whether you're sniping from a distance or you're going with your shotgun or an LMG or whatever weapon you choose is going to give you the opportunity always to change your loadout. Yes, that is one of the biggest things in Apex Legends control is going to give you a different loadout each time you die. So you're able to choose from whatever, an assault rifle, your LMG, shotgun, however you want to play. Why is Respawn doing this? Well, the following reason, in control mode, the map is going to be, let's just say, it's gonna change every single time. Yes, you need to adapt because in control, different objects are going to be spawning. There could be one time where a certain section is that your allows you to you know stay back and take cover and there's sometimes that cover will not be there so this is what control mode does it sounds very interesting and it sounds like a lot of fun now so as you dive in with your loadout that you already chose and in, into apex legends control how is it that you win in control very easy <laughs> But at the same time, it's going to take some teamwork to be able to get that W. So controlling zones is the key to winning in control. Yes, controlling zones is the key. You're going to be able to get three different zones, A, B, C. Now, it all depends up to you, up to your team, how skillful you guys are. It all depends. Yes, this is where Apex Legends is going to separate all of you guys, all the legends, because not only skills are going to help you, but also teamwork is probably going to even help you more. So here's how you can win the game and control Apex. One, players need to fight to capture and control the zone. Two, taking possession of a zone earns you more points. So for every second that you're controlling a zone, you are gaining points. Number three, the more zones you control, the more points you're given. And here is number three. Number three is probably gonna be the hardest thing to do in Apex Legends because if you are able to control all three zones, that means you guys are very skillful and you are able to pretty much just control the whole match. And that's going to take a lot of skills and a lot of teamwork. And if you're able to do that, then you'll probably win the game fast. Now, if you're not controlling, if you're only able to control one or two zones, number four, the first team to reach the 1,250 score limit is the one that is going to win. Now, there is a twist, though, guys. You know, there's always a twist. How are you able to get more points? And that's what I just explained to you a little bit ago. If you guys 
are able to control zones, you are going to get bonuses. Why? Because you're going to be able to attack and defend your surroundings. The longer you control it, the more points you're going to be allowed to gain. Now, don't worry. During the matches, you're going to be rewarded, let's just say that, with airdrops, which are opportunities to grab very, very powerful weapons, crate weapons to give you the damage output that will be able to annihilate anyone really quickly. And this is very helpful when you are struggling or when you're trying also to take control of a zone. Now, one of the biggest tips is controlling zones. Let's just say you're controlling zone A and it's linked to your home base. This means that you are also going to be able to spawn on A and also on home base because your home base is linked to zone A. If you are able to do that, then you are able to spawn in the front line instead of in the back where you're not gonna be as helpful to your team. So it's very important. Now, if you're able to control A, B, and C, then pretty much you're gonna win because you're gonna be able to spawn just about anywhere in the map. Now, guys, if you guys have any questions in regards to how control works, or if I miss anything, let me know in the comment sections and we'll help each other out in the comments. Now, when you're playing control mode, you're going to be able to play it in the following. Outlands, Hamid Labs on Olympus, and Barometric on Tropics. There is enough area to cover pretty much in those two map sections. Now, there's going to be new zip lines, skydive launchers, and even tridents to use you for your advantage to be able to pretty much throw you across the map. Anyways, guys. That is pretty much a complete guide on how to win in control. This is going to be the new LTM that is going to be releasing on February the 8th. Also, guys, check out my description. I have a few other links there, such as, you know, how to get the upcoming third year anniversary skins, which I got to say, they're pretty dope. You don't want to miss out and you know every week you're going to be able to get the opportunity to get those free skins as well as other goodies so do have that in mind so you can log in each single day and be able to you know gather those skins so there you go guys that's it let me know in the comment section below what do you feel about this upcoming mode i think it's pretty dope and pretty cool let me know in the comment section don't forget guys to subscribe Turn on all notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Die first. And while her impotent rage is merely delaying the inevitable, it's sure to keep us all entertained.